Hey guys, so this is CC Swatches from Instagram. I wanted to make a video talking about my nail polish haul for the month of May. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't have a tripod or anything fancy, but I just have my phone on top of my computer and we're just going to go with it. And I hope you guys like this video. I picked up some Orly from HB Beauty Bar. Okay, so I did get three from the new Orly Summer Collection and then I picked up two randoms that just caught my eye. So the yellow is Oh Snap and it's the yellow neon from their Summer Collection. And the green one is So Fly and it's actually what I'm wearing on my Cindy hand right now with some witchy stampy <laughs> nail art. The blue one is called Far Out and it's it's not really neon, but I still think it's a really pretty blue, and I don't have anything like it, so I wanted it. And this is Lips Like Sugar. This was from their spring collection, and I really liked it. And the last one I got is Beach Cruiser, and it just looks like a perfect pink neon, and I can honestly never have enough of those. So yeah, I got these, again, from HB Beauty Bar, and I did use Kelly Marissa's code. Uh, the nail polish youtuber and that was actually a really good discount next I'm going to talk about a new to me brand the brand is spellbound nails and I found them on Etsy they actually reminded me a lot of dollish polish which is why I wanted to try them so I picked up two Krellies this one is called tiger lily and it's like a light orange with a bunch of different colors and sizes of glitters and this, I cannot pronounce the name, but it is inspired by Alice in Wonderland. I, I don't know what that is. But this is described as a birthday cake cream crelly, so I just needed it. And this says eat me because, like I said, it's inspired by Alice in Wonderland, but she did say like, please don't eat this, which I thought was funny. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this brand and give my first impressions and I really hope I liked it. Okay so another new to me brand is 77 Nail Lacquer. Me and my friend Laura aka Queen K Lumper on Instagram we decided we needed this polish. This is the Mother's Day 2020 polish from 77 Nail Lacquer and the flakies are just so rainbow. They look like glass shards or like those glass windows in a really dark purple base and I have nothing like it. So that's another brand I'm really excited to try. Next up is this lovely haul from one of my favorite D-stashes on Instagram and that is Nicole's Nails D-stash and I will put her Instagram name in the description box. I always find really great stuff from her. I feel like I hit the jackpot. So I got nine things from her and she was actually having a sale. So I got, I think, 10% off and then she included a free gift which ended up being a stamping plate which is really cool. So I got two glam polish from this D stash and this one is called Vitamin C and I wanted it because I think it's really similar to a Schlee polish I have and I just really wanted to compare the two, but also it's beautiful. <laughs> and this one is Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, which I'm fairly certain is a Goosebumps reference. My sister loves Goosebumps, so I mostly got it <laughs> for her, but it's for me. <laughs> Next I got another new to me brand, which is Ice Cream Nails. And these speckled polishes looked too cute to resist. So the green is called Spectacular and the yellow is called Spectabulous. And maybe I should have done this to match my nails. And the yellow one, Spectabulous, is actually what I'm wearing on this hand. I did use it as the base for this uh, Bumblebee Manny, which I think worked out perfect. And the formula was good. It took three coats like a normal Crelly would. Another speckled polish I got from this D stash is from Coloris de Carol and it's called Happy Feet. And it's from last year's Easter collection. She has amazing Crellies and I just had to get this. Okay, the last four from this D stash are all former PPU polishes. 
This is The Legend of Hannah Crana by Glisten & Glow, and I always wanted this one, and I never was able to get it from Dee Sashes, but now I did. This is J. Ran Temple of Temptation, and I solely got this because my friend Laura has it, and we always do twin manis, so this is another potential candidate for that. These two brands over here are more new to me brands. I have never tried Cameo Colors or Kathleen & Co. So I'm really excited about these. This is like a really cute cotton candy pink and it's called Fluffy Sugar High, which is a really cute name. And this is another one I can't and won't pronounce, but there you go. It's just like a murky, mossy green and that's totally my style. So yeah, like I said, those were all from a D stash on Instagram and I will put her name in the description. Okay, I saved the best for last. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know I'm obsessed with Dollish Polish. They are 100% my favorite brand, and I am on a mission to collect most of their polishes, not necessarily all of them, but a lot of them. And I found this D stash, and I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the description box. And she was getting rid of so many old dollish polishes. And I thought, this is my chance, and I jumped. And so I picked up 10 from her, and I'll talk about five at a time. Okay, so first, this one is called Greased Lightning, and I had actually never seen this one before, so it was a nice surprise. It's a white crilly with red, black, maybe silver glitters, and it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear this. Next is You're a Real Sweet Tart. I don't know how to describe this, but it's cute. Okay, this one is another one I had never seen. It's called Sweet Dreams Are Made of Glitter. A really light pastel green base with a bunch of glitter, and it also has a shimmer, like, I think you can see it there. This looks really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to like it on me, but I definitely wanted to try it. This is Expecto Patronum. I have the mini size of this. I love it so much that I just thought might as well get a full size. Laura actually gave me the mini size as a gift and I loved it so much. So I'm really excited to have a full size now. This is actually, I think, her best selling polish and it's part of her core line. So I'm pretty sure this is still available on her site, but I just got it from this D-Stash. This one is Purple Rain. Now I had seen this one and it was in my lemming list. It's just a purple curly with a bunch of purple hollow glitter. It's fantastic. I can't wait to wear this one. I can't wait to wear all of them. Okay, so these are the last five polishes in this haul video, also from the same D stash as I mentioned before. This one is called Sugar Plum Fairy and it is so fun. Like, I know it looks ridiculous and like a kitchen sink, but I love it. This one is called Murky Dismal and I don't know what this is inspired by and I also have never seen this one before, but it just looked really interesting, those black and white glitters in this kind of muted blue base. So I'm kind of excited to see how that looks on the nail. This one is called Purple Nurples. If you look up swatch pictures for this one, it's actually really sheer. So I'm gonna try to use it as a topper. It's kind of the same concept as Sugar Plum Fairy where it's just a bunch of huge glitters, super loud, and I just love that idea. Like super playful and fun. These two, I'm fairly sure these have faded because, like I said, this girl was getting rid of old, very old Dollish Polish and this one is called Starlight and I know for a fact this is supposed to be a white base but now it's like a cream yellow which I'm not mad at but I kind of wish I would have known. But either way I still really like the glitters in here. Who knows, maybe it'll look good as like a cream crelly. And this one is called Twist of Lime. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be like a darker, deeper green. Okay guys, so that was my May nail polish haul. May isn't 
even over yet so I'm sure there will be more but I just wanted to make a video and get over the nerves if you got this far thank you so much for watching but I do have an Instagram where I post nail polish swatches and very recently nail art thanks to Laura so I will put my Instagram name Laura's Instagram name all the d-stashes and all the shops that were mentioned in this video please consider liking commenting subscribing if you want i would really appreciate it hopefully i'll see you in another video bye